Guys, guys I'm going to break in really quick. Uh, we have a little bit of breaking news that's kind of hitting us as of right now. It says, Kansas investigation finds that guard LeGerald Vick likely punched and kicked a female student in 2015. Now, this news is via the Kansas City Star, but he is also in that investigation into the rape case that is at uh, McCarthy Hall where most of the basketball players stay. What, uh, what do you think this means for the team, having these charges as well as Carlton Braggs and this investigation ongoing? Yeah, we didn't mention when we were talking about depth that Carlton Bragg is suspended indefinitely uh, by Bill Self. Uh, so he didn't play against Kentucky, and now if Gerald Vick is out, then, then they're really going to be playing six people off total. Six players total, and you can't do that in March. No, and that average of eight players that you rotate now goes down to six, which is even mm -hmm. more lethal, especially for a team that could potentially contend in March, which I, I don't know, guys. I mean, um, what, how do you think that, that, that Coach Self initially will handle this, and, and how do you think this will reflect on the program in the coming years? Well, based on his history, I think uh, looking back at Brandon Green with his marijuana issues from a couple years ago, he was suspended <laughs> indefinitely. Obviously, Carlton Bragg was just suspended indefinitely. So I think uh, immediately Self is going to suspend Vic uh, while the investigation yeah, is Coach going on. Yeah, Coach Self's a no BS, no BS mm -hmm. kind of guy. We saw even last year, even little things like uh, complaining about playing time uh, in the locker room before a game, got Brennan Green suspended, dunking when it was a blowout against mm -hmm. Kansas State at the end of the game, and he got repercussed for that. So Bill Self, he's not going to take any of this, and he's going he's gonna, to – Put punishment where it's necessary. And if you remember in December, talking again about Carlton Bragg, when, when he was under investigation for uh, pushing that female down the stairs, he was suspended indefinitely immediately. Uh, he was later uh, not charged with anything, but if Vic, Vic will be suspended, I assume, because of the history of Bill Self. Yeah, we saw how quickly they suspended Carlton Bragg. I assume mm -hmm. we'll do the same thing with the children. Exactly. Yeah, and like, as, as of right now, it seems that the university is actually um, recommending, um, what is it, recommending probation, but we don't quite know if that has actually been served yet. This, this report says that the university investigations use preponderance of evidence standards, which means that the matter in dispute is actually likely true, and they'll use that to determine if that's violations of school policy actually occurred. So, I, oh yes, okay, so the office recommended that Vic be put on university probation two years ago. So with this news coming to light, it seems at the same time that Kansas should be held response, Kansas basketball should be held responsible for this. It just seems that this team can't catch a break from themselves. They can't beat themselves. Well, there's a lot of stuff going on for this team. If you talk about uh, the two brag incidents in the last two months, the McCarthy Hall incident from this month, and now LeGerald Vick from 2015, uh, from a from a humanity standpoint and a law standpoint, that's a lot that, that they need to take care of. But then from a basketball standpoint, uh, it, like you said, it's going to be too much for them, and they will not overcome this uh, if, if it comes to fruition that Vic is guilty. Definitely. One step forward with that Kentucky win. One step back, moving into Baylor. Does this, uh, does this actually change anything <laughs> moving into Baylor? The, the game that we just talked about, actually, this, this could have some serious consequences. I mean, well, if Vic gets suspended indefinitely, what she should, um, he will, they'll, they'll, be, they'll be low. They'll, be, they'll have no depth whatsoever playing with six guys. They're going to have to figure out how to do that. Yeah, I don't know if you missed it during our last segment or not, but I did pick Baylor to win <laughs> regardless, or before yeah. we even knew this information, Baylor coming into Allen Fieldhouse and, I hear you and on beating that, I hear you. Uh, I hear you. KU. And now if Vic can't play, and if Carlton Bragg can't play, then Jonathan Motley is going to have a field day in Allen mm -hmm. Fieldhouse, and they're just going to run rampant on the Jayhawks.